All right, John Oaks here with Hangsters Hot Rods here in our Homer City, Pennsylvania location today. And we are going to go over our newest addition to our inventory. Sitting beside me, a very nice 1968 Chevrolet Camaro. And this one is SS styled, as you can see, all of the SS styling cues that you would normally find. So starting front, working our way to the back, obviously you can see clearly it is Hugger Orange exterior. Nice, smooth, shiny paint job on this car. And instead of a white or a black Bumblebee no stripe, we have a silver Bumblebee no stripe on that car. So nice little change there for us uh, with these Hugger Orange cars. Now again, you can see all of the bright work, the bumpers, the wheel well trim, all of your moldings around the windows, your mirrors, even the lower body moldings, all of this is in really good condition for this vehicle. Um, you can also see it does have the steel SS hood with the ice cube trays up on top as they used to call them. Those would be the scoops up in the top of the hood there. Um, it also has the Camaro script and the SS badging on the front fenders along with all the way up front the 327 badging which does verify what motor is in this car. Now obviously you can see wheels and tires have been changed on this vehicle. We've got 17 inch wheels both front and back, 7 inch wide up front, 8 inch wide on the back. They are Riddler aluminum wheels and you can see they've got the painted centers in them, a real nice look on this car. And then we've got Kelly Edge AS tires, front and rear. Sizes on these are 215 50-17s and then 235 55-17s on the back. Now as far as panel fitment and alignment on this vehicle, you can just take a look at it and see that this is a very nice car. You can see your gaps on the door here on the sides, both front and back. Uh, all of your elevations match up real good. All body lines match up very well in this car too. As I mentioned, we do have mirrors on both sides, both driver and passenger side chrome mirrors, and the glass nose is in great shape. You can see the side glass here in our doors and quarter window tinted slightly, and again, no chips or scratches whatsoever on this glass. It looks great. Again, our drip rail moldings polished up nice and straight. As I run my hand through the uh, rain gutter here to feel for any roughness, everything feels nice and smooth through there. Again, we've got your belt moldings here across the top. Those are in good shape too. Let's go ahead and open our door up. We'll take a look inside. You can see we've got the full black interior inside, vinyl interior, front buckets, the rear bench. You do have the seat belts, both front and rear, black carpeting, black headliner, black dash. You do see it's got the full center console with some of the wood grain trim in it there. It's got the um, floor automatic shifter in there too. An SS steering wheel there for you also. Factory heater controls, aftermarket uh, AM FM CD player in there as well. And it does have a few aftermarket gauges. It's got your oil pressure, water temperature, and your voltmeter gauges just mounted right underneath the radio there in the center of the dash there um, so that you can monitor those things a little more closely. Now, as far as your weather stripping around the window, all of this is in great shape. You don't see any rips or tears here. Even your um, quarter window rubbers here, those are in great shape. They look practically brand new in there almost. Again, everything is very nice in this car. Threshold plate, same thing. So we'll close this door up. Nice, closes nice and easy. And we're gonna continue over to our the rear of the car now. So obviously quarter panel wise, everything looks good back here too. As we come back, you'll notice our car has not only the rear trunk spoiler, but when we get to the front, it's got the black front air dam as well. We've got our nice fitting trunk lid here. Again, you can see gaps and elevations there when compared to your quarter panels, all of which looks very well. The rear glass in this car, great condition too, along with that bright molding around the window looks good. You can also, I'm not sure if you can see in here, but it's got a set of speakers up there in your package tray, a set of Sony Explode, uh, looks to be six by nine speakers up there to go along with that uh, AM FM CD player. Now on the back of the car here, you can see they've got this all blacked out tail panel here, got the SS gas cap, your tail lights there, all the lenses in great shape. 
All of your bright work on the bezels here, those are in great condition too. Down below, of course, just your standard rear balance and your very nicely chromed rear bumper. So we're gonna go ahead and open our trunk lid up. Take a quick peek inside here, show you around a little bit. They've added this nice little pull handle for you in case you need to use that for any reason. The underside of the trunk, all painted hugger orange, just like the rest of the car. Inside, you can see full-size spare on a steel wheel. All the correct hold downs for that spare tire are there. You've got the bumper jack in here also. That looks new. You've got a set of floor mats, a nice trunk mat in there too. The trunk floor in this thing is in great condition too. Painted the correct uh, black and aqua trunk spatter paint. Uh, you can even see it's got the, uh, the decal in here for your spare tire and your jack instructions there too. Uh, all your weather stripping here for the trunk looks to be in great shape too. As you can see, nice and soft, no rips or tears in it. it meets right together here in the center. So again, sealing up from the outside elements should not be a problem for this car. Trunk shuts nice and easy. Now we'll go to the passenger side. So as we get to here, we're going to go ahead and look at all of our lines, all of our body panels, our fitment and alignment here up along the side of the car. Again, I just want to point out, you know, the glass here on the passenger side. Again, no chips or scratches there. Your uh, door gaps, both on the rear and the front, very uniform on the car. Again, everything all lines up, all your body lines, all of your elevations, all of which are in great shape. We'll open up this door now so you can take a look from the passenger side. Again, you'll just notice, uh, you know, take a look at the upholstery on the seats, no rips or tears. The carpeting, you don't see any tears or any fading. And your dash pad up here, no cracks in it whatsoever. So again, upholstery and interior in this car, very nice. As we close this up, again, passenger side shuts well. Your matching passenger side mirror, all the matching emblems and badging here on the car as well. We'll come around to the front now, and this is where we'll see our nose piece. So we got our SS uh, front, well, we've got the front end here, typical 68 Camaro nose and grille, although the grille's all blacked out here with the SS badging in the center. You got your traditional sealed beam headlights here, so highs and lows all in one unit up front here. Nicely chrome front bumper. As I mentioned earlier down below, we've got that black front air dam. Again, I've already stated that this is the silver bumblebee stripe on the front end of the car. Got your Camaro script up here on the header panel. And now again, steel SS hood. You can see how nice that bright work is on that hood. Again, very nice condition. You can see your gaps and your elevations on your hood, as well as you can see that front windshield. Again, all of the glass, all in great condition on this vehicle. So now what we're gonna do is open our hood up and then we can discuss what's under there. So with the hood up, first thing we're gonna do is look at the underside of the hood, how nice this is. Again, hugger orange on the underside of the hood. You've got the aluminum foil back hood insulation in here, all done very nicely, tucked up in where it needs to be. Now you get to the engine compartment, all blacked out here as it should be. Then of course the engine, we do have a 327 cubic inch small block Chevy motor here. It's got the chrome air cleaner. Underneath that is an Edelbrock 1406 series carburetor. They have upgraded the ignition to an HEI distributor. It's got eight millimeter Excel spark plug wires on it. It's also got the Edelbrock Performer EPS aluminum intake there, as you can see. Uh, now, as far as your heater lines, those are all hooked up too over there. Chrome alternator along with chrome brackets there also. And you've got the aluminum, uh, looks like ball milled uh, valve covers here too, to go along with everything. As far as the front of the motor here, we've got an aluminum radiator with the shroud there. Six blade aluminum fan there, so that'll flex a little bit and uh, take away a lot of you know your uh, um, rotational uh, drag on the front of the motor there when they do straighten out when you're up to speed. You can see it's got this chrome piece in here too for your uh, filler panel up here ahead of the radiator. Chrome fender supports here too. Chrome master cylinder lid. And uh, I did see on the uh, description we've got chrome uh, power steering reservoir and the aluminum pulleys there too. So again, 327 motor, 
Behind that is a two-speed power glide automatic transmission. And then for the rear end on this car, it is a 10-bolt GM rear. It is a posi unit, 323 gear ratio on that as well. Now, I've gone through pretty much of the motor there. The only thing I did not uh, go over, I kind of left out, was the exhaust system on it. We'll get to see a lot of that from the underside of the car. But we do have long tube headers on this. Full dual exhaust, dual thrush mufflers with tailpipes that exit uh, between the leaf spring and the quarter panel on the car. So for a 68 Camaro, this is a very nice looking ride here. Nice run and drive and ride too. You would really enjoy driving a car like this down the street during the summer. So uh, again, what we're going to do next is as we always do, put it on our lift show you the underside of the car, and then lastly, we'll fire this engine up so you get to hear what that 327 sounds like. All right, so we are underneath now our 1968 Camaro here. Real nice car. We're gonna go through the underside as we always do with all of our vehicles for you folks out there. Go through steering, suspension, braking, drive line, frame and floors, as we always do. So we'll get right to it here in this car. So again, 68 Camaro, this is our front suspension. We've got the front cross member here. Looks great. You can see nice and straight. Doesn't look like it's been banged on anything. As far as the front suspension, pretty much just your stock suspension. You've got your stamped steel components here, your upper and lower control arms. You do have a front sway bar on here. Um, your sway bar bushings at the frame, as well as your sway bar end links. Those all look good. And the end links look like they've got like the, uh, the urethane or the polyurethane style bushings in them. So that's going to cushion that real well. Uh, as far as the steering, it is a power steering car. So your tie rods here, ball joints, and rubber dust boot covers. Those are all intact on all four corners. Uh, and they look like they've been greased and maintained very well. Um, as far as your braking, it is power brakes as well. Disc brakes up front, and then we have the drums out on the rear of the car. Now as far as our drive line, we'll just take care of that since we're standing underneath it. Um, we're going to go with this as a 327 small block Chevy motor. It is backed up by a Power Glide automatic transmission. Now that automatic transmission, it does have the flywheel cover on it here. That's going to help protect from any dirt or debris getting in and possibly causing any premature failures on that flywheel. Now as far as the oil pan on the motor and the trans pan, everything looks to be drip free, leak free here. As we travel back a little further, we've got the transmission cross member. Of course, your mount for the tail shaft, that all looks good. The tail shaft for the transmission, the seal in the end of it, that looks to be good too and leak free. As far as, as, as we come back here, of course, we've got our drive shaft. It is a balanced drive shaft, so that will eliminate any of those, you know, most of your vibrations and so forth in your drive line. And then to finish it out, we've got the GM 10 bolt rear. Now this is a posi unit for this vehicle, 323 gear ratio in here too. So it'll be a good running car for getting out on the street and doing some cruising around with. Now rear suspension, you can see we've got the multi or the uh, the uh, single leaf uh, back here, not multi leaf. I get that stuck in my head from all the other cars, but yeah, it's got the mono leaf rear suspension. It does have a set of uh, looks to be air shocks back here, so you can easily adjust your ride height if you need to with just a touch of an air hose. Uh, as far as the fuel tank, if we look back here a little further, fuel tank looks to be in real good shape, no dents or dings. Your hardware here to mount it, your straps and all of your bolts and so forth, that all looks good as well. As far as the exhaust system, we do have a set of long tube headers up here coming off those heads. And then we have those coming into a set of full dual exhaust, dual thrush mufflers. And then we do have this a set of the correct tailpipes here that go up over top of that rear end. And then they exit out right between your leaf spring here and the quarter panel with a set of tailpipes. So that all looks good. So then all we have now is the floor frame and wheels and tires. So the floor, as you can see, floor's in really good shape. 
I only see one spot where they've actually repa replaced a pan and they did it with the correct metal. It's the correct stamped floor pan for the car. It's all been seam sealed here. So again, that was done correctly and that's the only spot I can see is right underneath the, uh, the driver's feet basically here. All the rest looks to be in good shape. As you can see all the stamping lines and so forth in it, that, that is exactly how it should be. The frame, again, it's not a full frame car. You've got the front subframe. That is all nice and straight, good and square. Doesn't look like it's ever been bit hit on anything. The body mount bushings are in good shape. And then as far as your rear dog legs on the frame, those look to be nice and straight as they go back over top of the rear end. Pinch welds, those are nice and straight on both sides. The rockers on both sides of the car look very well too. Of course, all your brake lines and your fuel lines are run along the bottom of the frame. You can see they've got the inline fuel filter uh, set up down here. Um, so if you ever need to change that, it's real easy. Just a couple hose clamps and a new filter and you're all in business again. Of course, the e-brake, that's all hooked up too on this car. So your front cable, intermediate cable, and the rear cables going back to the drum brakes, all of which are present and in working order. That's the bottom of your car. Finally now, just wheels and tires. So we've got a set of 17 inch wheels on this car, 17 sevens up front, 17 eights out on the back of the car. These are the aluminum Riddler wheels, so a real nice wheel for this car. And then as far as tires, they've got here the, uh, the Kelly tires. Now this is kind of like a low profile performance tire. It is the Kelly Edge AS. And on the front we have, uh, 215 50 17s on the back we've got 235 55 17s on the back just to give it a little difference in the rake there but again the treads in good shape on these good looking tire again it's going to perform very well for you too so that's pretty much the underside of our 68 Camaro so what we're going to do next is what we do with all our cars we're going to get it down off the lift go underneath the hood fire that motor up for you that way you get a chance to hear what it sounds like 